If you're going to say that I represent Jesus on your job, then you ought to do your job better than everybody else, especially when you're going to pray for people at the same time. You don't want to just say, well, I'm so heavenly minded that I'm no earthly good. You want to be so heavenly minded that you're earthly incredible and that your boss wants more people just like you. I was a delivery guy. I would see the guys, like the UPS guys, and this and that kind of thing. And when I would say, hey, bro, let me get that for you. Yeah. No, no, because I'm a delivery guy. Yeah. Like, no, dude, this your, no, no, I got it. Yeah. And then I would take it and deliver it with them. It would so freak them out. You're not just praying for them and being some crazy Christian. Yeah. You're actually wanting to put hands on. That's right. And do good and heal all. What would it be like for you to be on your job and be totally in love with Jesus and not worry about what other people think? If you're at your workplace and you know who you are, you're the light in your workplace. When I delivered ice, I saw between 10 and 30 people healed every day. Every day. On my job. When your perspective shifts, your whole life shifts, and you're not bummed out about your job and dreading the fact that you have to go back to work. I loved my job, man. I loved it. I got to be around people. Sometimes people want to get into ministry and they forget that their job is their mission field. When you go into that place, you're bringing light into the darkness. God wants all of your life, not just some of it. This is not incorporate Jesus time, man. People are dying and going to hell. Are you an imitator of God? Is the life that you're living worth the price that He paid? My God is a consuming fire, and He wants to light your heart on fire and ablaze with Him so that you can run and not grow weary. This is who God's created you to be. If I can walk this thing, so can you.